ऑल इंडिया रेडियो प्रेजेंट्स मॉर्निंग न्यूज गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम वर्सा विलियम्स द हेडलाइंस कैबिनेट अप्रूव अमेंडमेंट्स टू बैनिंग ऑफ अनरेगुलेटेड डिपॉजिट स्कीम्स बिल टू चेक इलिसिट डिपॉजिट एक्टिविटीज राष्ट्रीय कामधेनु आयोग टू बी सेट अप फॉर प्रोटेक्शन एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ काउस ब्रॉडकास्टिंग इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड नेटवर्क ऑफ प्रसार भारती टू बी डेवलप्ड विद अ फंड ऑफ ओवर 1000 थाउजेंड करोड़ रूपीज सेंटर क्लियर्स प्लान टू यूज स्पेस टेक्नोलॉजी एंड बॉर्डर मैनेजमेंट टू चेक इंट्रूजन आरबीआई टू अनाउंस इट्स सिक्स बाय मंथली मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी रिव्यू टूडे फ्लाइट सर्विसेज हिट इन श्रीनगर फॉलोइंग फ्रेश स्नो फॉल इन कश्मीर वैली जम्मू श्रीनगर नेशनल हाईवे रिमेन क्लोज्ड and in tennis pragnesh guneshwaran and three other indians enter pre quarter finals of atp chennai open the cabinet has approved a proposal for official amendments to banning of unregulated deposit schemes bill 2018 Briefing media in New Delhi last night, Union Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad said the amendments will further strengthen the bill to effectively tackle illicit deposit taking activities and prevent such schemes from duping the poor. Mr Prasad said the bill provides for severe punishment and heavy pecuniary fines to act as deterrent. The deposit scheme has to be properly registered. Only those can be registered which answer to the requirement of the bill. if you are not then you are under offense any promotion of these unregulated unregistered scheme by advertisement by brand ambassador by inducement to depositor is a serious offense inviting serious penalty the bill creates three different types of offenses namely running of unregulated deposit schemes fraudulent default in regulated deposit schemes and wrongful inducement in relation to unregulated deposit schemes The bill provides for attachment of properties or assets by the competent authority and subsequent realization of assets for repayment to depositors. The cabinet also cleared establishment of a unified authority for regulating all financial services in international financial services centers in India through International Financial Services Centers Authority Bill 2019. The Rashtriya Kaam Dhenu Aayog which was announced by Finance Minister Piyush Goyal in the budget earlier this month also got the cabinet's nod. The Aayog will be established for the protection and development of cows. Mr Prasad said Rashtriya Kaam Dhenu Aayog ki sthapna ki gayi hai high powered permanent body nirdesh dene ke liye scheme banane ke liye aur livelihood generation of a small and marginal farmers ke liye to ye uske liye pure vatavaran ka nirman policy framework ityadi baat karega sustainable development ke vishay mein bhi apni baatein karega the cabinet also approved amendment to the cinematograph act 1952 to tackle film piracy and copyright infringement mr prasad said there is penal provision for unauthorized camcording and duplication of films The proposed amendments will increase industry revenues, boost job creation, fulfill important objectives of India's national intellectual property policy and will give relief against piracy and infringing content online. The Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs CCEA has given its nod for broadcasting infrastructure and network development scheme of Prasar Bharti. Mr Prasad said an amount of over 1000 crore rupees has been approved. for this purpose for a period of 3 years broadcasting infrastructure network development ke prasar bharti ke liye 1054.2 crore ki rashi di gayi hai 3 saal ke liye jisme dd aruna prabha channel north east ke liye fm rayu expansion at 2006 places aur 6 kv fm transmitter along nepal and jn ke border setup karne ki baat hai aur baki doordarshan ke infrastructure ko aur acha karne ki baat hai The CCEA also approved creation of Agri Market Infrastructure Fund for development and upgradation of Grameen Agriculture Markets. A corpus of 2000 crore rupees will be created with NABARD. The cabinet gave its nod for higher allocation of power to Telangana and Jharkhand from under construction projects of NTPC in these states. Establishment of circuit bench of the Calcutta High Court at Jalpaiguri has also been cleared by the cabinet it will have jurisdiction over four districts namely Darjeeling Kalimpong Jalpaiguri and Kuchbihar 
The government has approved a plan to use space technology in border management to check intrusion. In a written reply in the Rajya Sabha, Minister of State for Home Kiran Rijiju said over 3,000 incidents of intrusion on the country's borders took place in the last four years. He said Ireland's development, border security, communication and navigation, geographic information system and border infrastructure development are the areas which have been identified for use of space technology in improving border management. The minister said to execute the project, a short, medium and long-term plan has been approved for implementation in five years in coordination with Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO and Defence Ministry. Meanwhile, in a written reply in the Lok Sabha, Minister of State for External Affairs V.K. Singh said, cross-border terrorism emanating from Pakistan remains a core concern for India. He said, security forces have foiled 323 infiltration bids by terrorists from across the border last year. For quick news updates, round the clock, follow us on our Twitter handle at AIR News Alerts. The Reserve Bank of India, RBI, will announce its sixth bi-monthly monetary policy review today. It will be the first policy review to be announced post the appointment of Mr. Shakti Kanta Das as the RBI governor and also the first after the interim budget. Our correspondent reports that the three-day deliberations of the Monetary Policy Committee started in Mumbai on Tuesday. The RBI's Monetary Policy Committee began its three-day meet to decide on key dates amid expectations that it would change stance to neutral on low inflation but may not cut rates due to fiscal challenges and rising oil prices. In its last bi-monthly monetary policy, the bank had kept the repo rate unchanged at 6.5% and the reverse repo rate at 6.25%. The central bank has maintained status quo on interest rate in its last three bi-monthly monetary policies after hiking the repo rate twice this fiscal by 25 basis points each. Madhuri Pange, AIR News, Mumbai. Flight services have been hit in Srinagar following fresh snowfall in parts of Kashmir Valley. Most of the inbound and outgoing flights were cancelled at the Srinagar airport yesterday. The 300-kilometer-long Jammu-Srinagar National Highway continues to remain closed on both sides. Our correspondent reports that the Met Department has forecast inclement weather during the next 48 hours. This Srinagar and other parts of valley are witnessing moderate snowfall. The divisional administration issued a fresh avalanche warning for nine avalanche-prone districts of Kashmir in south, central and northern areas besides Kargil and Leh. Meanwhile, traffic officials told AIR that decision regarding permission to allow traffic movement on Srinagar Jammu National Highway shall be taken this morning in accordance with the weather and road condition. Tariq Ratri, AIR News, Srinagar. The high school and intermediate examinations of the Uttar Pradesh board are beginning today. The board has made elaborate arrangements for the exams, which includes CCTV cameras and voice recorders at every center of the state. More than 58 lakh students are set to appear in the exams, of which 32 lakh will figure in high school and 26 lakh in intermediate examinations. More than 13 crore devotees have taken a holy dip at the Kumbh Mela in Prayagraj, Uttar Pradesh so far. The Mela authorities said elaborate arrangements are being made for the next royal bathing on Sunday on the occasion of Vasant Panchami. Arrangements have also been made for fire safety. Our correspondent has filed this report. 43 fire stations and 15 fire outposts of Yaa have been erected across the Mela area. 157 fire tenders have been placed into service. Two foam tenders, one advanced rescue tender and one fire fighting boat have been specially included in brigade. More than 1,000 fire brigade personnel have been deputed on duty. MS Yadav, Area News, Mela, Priyagraj. In Sri Lanka, the proposed debate in Parliament today for forming a national government has been postponed. Leader of the House, Lakshman Kiriela, told AIR News that the debate will take place later this month and a new date will be decided. Our Colombo correspondent has filed this report. The debate to form national government was proposed after suspending the standing orders in parliament, but opposition parties were against it. UNP government initially decided to go ahead with the debate despite opposition, but later had a change of heart. President Sirisena had said in his Independence Day speech that he is opposed to UNP forming national government by joining the lone MP of a Muslim party. National government allows the number of ministers to be increased, but UNP has said it is aimed at stabilizing the government. Santosh Kumar for AIR Needs Colombo. 
U.S. President Donald Trump has nominated senior Treasury official David Malpass as the next chief of the World Bank. If voted by the directors of the World Bank Group, Malpass will replace Jim Yong Kim as the president. In tennis, four Indians led by Pragnesh Guneshwaran have stormed into the singles pre-quarterfinals of the ATP Chennai Open Challenger Tournament. In the second round yesterday, Pragnesh, who is the top seed, defeated Daniel Altmaier of Germany in straight sets, 6-4-6-4. 11-seeded Saket Mayaneni beat compatriot Vijay Sundar Prashant, 6-4-6-3. Arjun Khare got the better of 13-seed Jose Hernandez Fernandez of the Dominican Republic with a 6-3-6-2 win. The fourth Indian to progress to the round of 16 is Rasi Kumar Mukund, who saw off Germany's Sebastian Fonsilo 6-3-6-1. And now for an overview of today's newspapers, it's over to Anuja Kumar. Thank you, Walsa. Robert Vadra's questioning and the Sabri Malai board changing its stance on women's entry into the temple are major stories in papers today. ED quizzes Vadra for six hours. Priyanka says, I stand by him, headlines the Asian Age. The Times of India states, in first public appearance as Neta, Priyanka backs Vadra. Temple Trust changes its stance on entry of women. Board, Kerala government on same page, oppose review of verdict, writes the Hindustan Times. The statesman leads with, Sabri Malai Travancore Devaswam Board takes a U-turn on women's entry. Supreme Court reserves verdict on a bunch of petitions. On the standoff in West Bengal with the CBI, the Times of India reports, Kolkata police prepare top cop for CBI grilling with 100 questions. Cabinet tightens rules to ban Ponzi schemes, even advertising unregulated deposit schemes made unlawful. CBI armed to arrest violators, informs the pioneer. Key winsome man may have left India, reports the Economic Times of Mustafa Batliwala, founder of Winson Group, India's second largest willful defaulter after Vijay Malia. Pan Aadhaar link must to file IT returns from this year, says Supreme Court, is a front page story in the Times of India. BJP rule states plan to splurge more on farmers, observes the Economic Times. Sops shower gold for brides in Assam, jobless dole in Madhya Pradesh, headlines the Times of India. Will ban political parties for mass texts. The Hindustan Times carries instant messaging service WhatsApp's warnings ahead of the Lok Sabha elections. And finally, eating habits expose tribals to anthrax, notes the pioneer on consumption of dead animals by tribals in many pockets of Odisha, exposing them to a deadly infectious disease. The paper adds, the Indian Council for Medical Research has called for a mass awareness campaign and livestock vaccination in villages. And with that, it's back to you, Walsa. Thank you, Anuja. And now, before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Cabinet approves amendments to banning of unregulated deposit schemes bill to check illicit deposit activities. Rashtriya Kam Dhenu Ayog to be set up for protection and development of cows. Broadcasting infrastructure and network of Prasar Bharti to be developed with a fund of over 1,000 crore rupees. Centre clears plan to use space technology and border management to check intrusion. RBI to announce its sixth bi-monthly monetary policy review today. Flight services hit in Srinagar following fresh snowfall in Kashmir Valley. Jammu Srinagar National Highway remains closed. And in tennis, Pragnesh Kuneshwaran and three other Indians enter pre-quarterfinals of ATP Chennai Open. With that, we end the morning news. Have a nice day.